Welcome back to Marbella. Now, I can't believe this is our last program before the end of the year. Coming up to Christmas, the new year, so much going on in our city. We don't want you to miss a thing. Please make sure you stay in contact with our Extranjeros Department, the Foreigners Department of the Town Hall, to know what's going on. Also, Marbella Thal is a great way to check out all the Town Hall events and they translate everything into English. We have a lovely musical program for you this week, but we're going to start off with CIT Marbella, the first guest of the program, and the lovely Sarah, who's from Hilmar, which is a real estate company very well known locally. So nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me here again. It's a pleasure. I know you have a very busy day, and it's a very busy time of year for real estate. Yes, I know. As I told you before, it's just like, you know, cra craziness before Christmas, but it's all good. <laughs> so where are you from, Sarah? How did you come to Marbella? Um, I'm Lithuanian, and uh, I came here, well, because of love, probably, as everybody did. So, and I stayed here for more than 10 years now, so. And it's did you do real estate before? Is that something you've got into since no, you've been here? No, I started with Gilmar and uh, now I'm with them for five years, so I'm really proud of it. I know the name and obviously from the, the history of the company, having lived in Spain many years, so yeah. it's a very consolidated company. That's, that's true, yes. We've been here for more than 36 years already. Uh, we have a great network, uh, 25 offices in Madrid, three offices here in Costa del Sol, uh, one more to open in Malaga really soon, on spring hopefully, which is going to be next to Cathedral, um, one in Seville, one in Cadiz and one in uh, uh, Las Palmas de Gran Canaria. Wow. So do you get to travel family. around the different offices or are you based here? Yes, well, we do sometimes, but uh, we normally are based here. Yeah. The market here is very different. There's so many, for so many different types of people, so many nationalities. Does um, Gilmar, 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 depending which yeah. language you're speaking in, <laughs> do they specialize in any type of property in particular or do you cover the whole spectrum? No, we actually, we sell property and it really doesn't matter what price it is, where it is located. Uh, we just try to make people really happy and, and fulfill their needs. And do you do rentals as well, long-term, short-term? We do long-term rentals, but we do have collaboration agreements with short-term rental agencies as well. So uh, investors are welcome too. Will you be open the offices over Christmas? Yes, we are, yeah, especially Porto Banus office. We are going to be open almost all the time, except, you know, like the, the, the days like 25th, we are going to be closed and first as well but all the rest open. Well, because it's a lovely time when people are coming to visit our city to go and look at homes. That's and true. so many people come here to visit and then end up staying for love, being one of the reasons <laughs> that we all love being in Marbella. Mm -hmm. And it's really lovely to meet you, Sarah. And um, it's nice to know that CIT Marbella has once again sent us someone new. And it's really Great. nice to meet new people in the community. Will you be here over Christmas? No, um, I'm going to be escape a bit, so I'm going to be abroad this well, year. Well, I look forward to seeing you, if not before next year. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much for joining us. And remember, if you're looking for a property, Gilmar, Gilmar. <laughs> is there for you. And CIT Marbella, thank you very much for sending us wonderful people each week. CIT Marbella is a business networking association, very, very integrated in the Spanish authorities and administration. So highly recommendable for any company, whether you're Spanish or any international company, small or large, without a doubt, CIT Marbella is an association that is well worth your while. Thank you so much, Sarah. Thank you so much and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Thank you, you too. Hey, hey. A lot of people prefer to take their own car when going out at night. However, when it comes to time to go home, that might not be the safest or wisest option. For some, just one glass of wine could put you over the legal limit, which means if you drive, you could put in yourself or others at risk. If you find yourself in this dilemma and think possibly you should not be driving, you can just give Linear Director a call. They will order and pay for a taxi, which will take you and your fellow companions who were with you in the car home with up to a 25 kilometer radius, as long as you all fit in that one taxi and you're all going to the same place. You can even ask for them to pick up your car and take that back too. And this is seven days a week from midnight to 7 a.m. and up to four times a month. And this is obviously all in addition to the fabulous insurance that you get with Linear Director. We all like 
to go to the pool, go to the beach, take a dip in the ocean. What a great way to cool off. But if you've got reduced mobility or you're older, it may not be as easy for you to do so, which is why it's a wonderful incentive by the Town Hall of Marbella to provide assistance for reduced mobility people to go for a dip in the ocean. You can book in advance for your appointment or you can just show up to have half an hour dip in the ocean, as I say, but assisted. And this is available on different beaches along the coast of Marbella. We're 27 kilometers long. Well, you can do this from Las Chapas area all the way down to the Guadalmina area. Contact the phone number below and find out more information if you would like to also go to the beach and have a dip, but with some assistance. Hey, hey, it's a brand new day. Hello, I'm Aksana Mess from Owl. Welcome and all Zero Heroes welcome here to enjoy our special treats, non-alcoholic mojito and homemade lemonade. Merry Christmas! Twisting, you been out of shape And you feel like you've missed it Welcome in Art Cafe and of course we are honored to present Zero Hero. So for us it's more important to support that amazing project of Nicole King and uh, uh, guys, don't forget Zero Hero. Don't use uh, too much uh, when we drink in something uh, with the slowly. It is important that we back at home. It's important to back another day to enjoy the life. Benvenuti, grazie mille e uh, disfruttiamo della vita. Con piacere, ciao. Kempinski Hotel by here welcomes Zero Hero designated drivers. Merry Christmas from everyone here at the boardwalk. We support Zero Heroes. Please act responsibly this year. A big thank you to Anita Norje for organizing my next guest to come to the program. Simona and Bruce are recently married. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> and they have joined their talents together to make a beautiful ensemble of mezzo-soprano together with Spanish classical guitar. Although I believe, Bruce, you come from more of a rock background. I do, yeah. Hello. I'm noisy. You are, so tell yeah. us a bit about yourself, Bruce. What, how did you get started in music? At uh, school. I learned classical guitar and Spanish guitar uh, from a teacher there and never looked back. I've been doing it ever since. As a profession, yeah. so you managed to be working what you like yeah. always? That's right, yeah. Always yeah. lucky. And how did you meet Bruce Simona? Um, through a common acquaintance who um, kind of brought us together. He was a bit of a like guardian angel who got us together because he kind of sensed that that would work. There might be something and it did. there. <laughs> so did you bring um, Bruce out of the classical realm into your, out of the rock realm into your more classical world? Well, we're meeting somewhere in the middle because I'm, I'm really, really super classical. Bruce comes from rock and blues and all of that, apart from his Spanish guitar uh, and all of that. And what we mainly do is Neapolitan music, music from Naples, uh, which is my city. And, you know, it's, we play in a, crossover way between classical and folk and there's some Spanish feel to it and all of that so we're meeting somewhere in the middle and where did you physically meet Switzerland so neutral neutral yeah, territory neutral. <laughs> as neutral as it gets <laughs> very neutral <laughs> were you both performing there yeah. we were both living there yeah we were and living performing. there yeah, yeah we had just moved to Switzerland from different parts of the world and we met there and do you perform locally or do you travel to perform? What's your, your setup? Both. Yeah, we're, we're, we're exploring the coast now more and more. We play a lot inland in theatres and cultural centres. And we used to travel a lot, but we're kind of slowing down a bit now because of it's all getting a bit mad. So, so people can actually local. book you to perform here for events and yeah. weddings and things like that, Simona? Yeah, that's yeah. right, that's right. We like, you know, beautiful, elegant events where this kind of music fits. People who want some some really classy act, say, and yeah, we've done corporate events, we've done a few weddings, we've done some yeah cultural events, 
concerts, uh, banquets, anything. Anything. And the nice thing is that you obviously thoroughly enjoy it. And how nice that you yeah. get to perform together. Yeah. Oh, it's wonderful. It's really lovely. Yeah. Well, we're going to have a very um, exclusive performance now by Simona and Bruce. We're going to put them in front of the most expensive Christmas tree in the world. Not fully decked out today, but even so. And very much look forward to hearing you. And thank you so much for taking the time to come and visit us. Thank you so much, Nicole. It's and wonderful. obviously, if you want Bruce and Simona to perform at one of your events, just contact them. I'm sure they'll be delighted to hear from you. Thanks, guys. Thank Thanks. You. Thanks, Nicole. Cheers.